I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. And the Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's got to be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we got to force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. Over here. So you the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in a cell upstate around Eastern. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides going missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. Junior's boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk.
Where do you get off to? Huh?
Watch it. What's your problem? I'm in a mood to get stinking drunk tonight. If you say so. Junior's looking pretty fucked now, isn't he? You got that little speed freak Junior stayed up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best oil? Say Junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of Junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano? That'll light a fire in the ass. That, and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. Junior's a dirty, backstabbing piece of shit. Go get him. Jumpy lately. With all the losses we've been suffering. He's been at the speed again. He's got it in his head, big cut. Fucking with me ain't smart, pal. <whistles> Shit's going down, boys.
Get to the phone. Have to find him. Maybe he doubled back. Guess Go I'll check. try over there now.
practice. Crossroads, Junior. You can come work for me. Or... I ain't fine. Now get the fuck off me. Sure thing. Can you spare some of your crew to hold Tick for? I know just the boys for the job, but I expect you to remember this next time we have one of our gatherings. Anyone who thinks Sammy Robinson was the Mardi Gras mastermind is a moron. And just because he was involved doesn't mean it was his idea. And none of the evidence ever added up. The money wasn't recovered, and Sammy didn't shoot himself in the back of the head and then burn down his own bar. The only reason people believe Sammy was behind it was his skin color.
just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean is gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I ain't never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed? What about me, huh? down here busting my ass, and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you I'd take care of you, and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs> Tick for. Send someone for this extra cash. Be there soon. All right. Better not what do we handle? Guess our business is done here. Offload easy. One of them is Pagani's, and the other looks as if it's expensive. Look at his like a bunch of meatheads watching over. Shit, all right. They dream up assholes, gotta sleep sometime. How are you doing? Feel the bedding. We're having trouble conceiving, as you thought it might help. It was a little awkward, but their little girl was born last week. Praise God. We're in the shit now. He's fucking dropping us! He's killing our fucking crew! He couldn't have gotten far! Back to the grind, boys. Down! We're 
we go. Huh? It got one of us. Anyway, the guy challenged us back to a race for pink slip. What? I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah. Pablo Duarte, you're with the company? Not exactly. There gonna be a problem. If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Pagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man, Pops Holland, runs the freight yard. Does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit, it's sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They move them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. The fuckers working for Pops Holland know what he's up to. You're gonna need to get at them. <laughs> <laughs> 